How are you? Yeah, very good. Very, very good. 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 What's your name? Uh, I'm Nathan. I'm Rob. And I'm Ben. And oh, we are a hospital food. food. Where do you come from? Uh, England, near Leeds. Okay. Huddersfield, England. Wakefield, England. Which kind of music do you do? Punk rock, but not, not flash punk rock. It's punk rock. We do, we do hospital food music. <laughs> <laughs> when you met as a group? Well, um, when band first started, when it first started 15 years ago, we had a singer and he was a friend of the singer's son. Obviously, he was 18, or in the 40s. So, so, but we've stayed in band 15 years, uh, and that's where I met him, where we practiced in West Georgia. I came to the band four years ago. I played with these two in a covers band called The Fugitives and they were short of a drummer and I came and played a couple of songs for them and next thing I know they wouldn't let me go. So yeah, I met Nathan in 2008, 2009. Uh, the, the original frontman of Hospital Food, I was friends with his son, Nathan was friends with him and he knew I played bass. So we decided to get a band together to do two gigs and 15 years later and hundreds and hundreds of gigs later <laughs> We're still doing it. Yep. <clears throat> Which are the main reference for this group? Oh, oh. <laughs> they're not really a reference. It's just what we enjoy doing. They're not really a reference. It's not. We're not out to change the world. We're not out to approve. We just really enjoy it. We enjoy each other's company. Yeah. We have good fun. Our songs are about life in general. Probably, we we'll look at different stories. What happens to each of us in life? What write songs? People. We know what we get experiences from. But there's no, we're not pushing any massive message, we're not, no. we're certainly not political. <laughs> and we all have different music, we all like similar music, but we also have our own different music, musical Taste. influences. Mm -hmm. So it all just comes together, we all bring something different to the party, and hospital food is what it is. Are you more close to Clash or Crass? Clash. Clash, definitely. <laughs> but, but. Clash were very political. I love the Clash's first album. Mm. Uh, and the politics, I agree with the politics, but I don't think we're out to, no. here to preach no. politics. We've got enough people on Facebook and preaching politics, we don't want to preach. We, we, we like everybody, we're open to everybody. Mm. Whatever your persuasion is, whatever you, you choose to do, as long as you are a decent person, we want you to come yeah. and see us. Do you think that the place where you live give some uh, influence to your music yeah definitely i mean we were the so a lot of the songs we've got are about experiences in our lives so obviously the places where we live and where we're from have mm. some influence on that because that's where we're living that's where we live our lives so yeah it, it definitely has a, a you know even if it's a small influence there's, mm. there's some influences there from our from our area from our towns and yeah, there's also, we have a couple of songs where we sing about places we've been. We have a song um, called Camden Town, our experience about going down to London as a band, travelling all the way from Yorkshire for 200 miles. That was a very good song because it explains to people what we did, how we experienced the life. Why? Ah. 
Which is the creative process that bring you to make a, a song? <laughs> he, he writes a guitar riff yeah. and sometimes some lyrics. He brings it to the practice. Um, sometimes he'll want me to sing, sometimes he'll sing it. And we'll put, you know, put some drums and bass to it. And sometimes change the words around, or he might write, Nathan might write a, a chorus and a verse, and I'll write some more verses, or I'll come with some words and we'll put a guitar riff to it. We do, we do everything live, we don't do anything sort of digitally, it's all done in the studio, live, in person. That's mm -hmm. how we like to write songs, and that's how we've, we've always written songs. And what we also do is we all accept each other's ideas rather than one person's idea. It's three people's ideas. We may change things to suit the song, but it's always three people putting three different ideas into it. As Ben said earlier, we all have different tastes in music, and you'll see that in the songs that we play. We put a little bit in each song. And uh, where do you get the inspiration from? Life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> inspiration from songs is definitely from life. Yeah. My inspiration for playing is Clash's first album. Mm -hmm. Every time I hear Clash's first album, I want to play my guitar mm. and I think every single person <clears throat> should play Clash's first album and be in a band and I don't care how good they are for the fun, for the just being in a band, for the noise, it's perfect for every, every young person. I'm 57, I've done it for 40 years. Mm. I'm, I mean luckily we're in Italy but we're not known by anybody. It's just a perfect way of having fun times. I came to the band well, I came to music 44 years ago. I'm a little bit older than these two. Uh, I think my influence was I just wanted to play a drum kit. And at the time, I think the bands out were the likes of The Jam. They were a good influence on me. And then it moved on to the Sex Pistols. I like their stuff. I think it's the rawness, uh, nothing overproduced. And it's just, it shows now, 44 years later, we're playing stuff that's very raw and it's very good. We enjoy doing it. Yeah, mu music, playing music and you know, writing music is my creative side. You know, I can't draw, I can't paint, I can't do anything like that. I enjoy music. That's my way of expressing myself and my, sort of, that's my art form that I enjoy doing. It's because I can, I can. And uh, it's, it's one of the best things you can ever do being in a band. One of the most enjoyable things, just the experience yes. of playing mm -hmm. live. Apart from, no money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're going to yes. lose lots of money. Yeah. Yes. We don't make money. We don't do this for money. We do this because we enjoy playing music. And there's a different... People have different ways of getting different highs. Our high comes from being on a stage, playing our instruments, playing our songs. That's the big thing. All these things push you uh, to make, to keep Yes. Playing. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, yes. definitely yeah. <laughs> Talking about the past, do you know which are the main difference between the the scene, the music scene, the punk rock, the punk scene of this day and the past? Which is the main difference? I think it was very anti-social years ago, wasn't it? It was all against was it not rebelling, the early punk stuff? Well Whereas we're not like that. We've we still play the sound of music. I honestly wouldn't say there's that much difference apart from the, the you know the, the people of 30, 40 years ago are now a bit older. <laughs> yes. And are stood at the back <laughs> instead of in the pit. Mm. And nowadays their children are now at the front in the mosh pit, jumping about but and, I think and, we're, we're, and expressing themselves. What we've experienced in England, <clears throat> most punk gigs are older people. Mm. who were mm. there in the 70s and 80s. Well, when we come to Italy, we've been to Italy like this is our sixth time in Italy. Mm. You get a lot of younger people That's who are really into it. Into and obviously to them, they wasn't born. To them, this is brand new. Mm. You play to a 60-year-old Englishman, he's been seeing punk bands for the last 40 years. So obviously there's a massive difference to young ones. I mean, when we come to Italy, bands that we play with, we play with lots of young Italian bands. Yeah, good bands. Very good. Who are, not only very good, and also I'm, I'm probably a broader 
influence because it's so much music that cross in. So, so it's always changing. It's mm. not like 70s punk in, in a lot of new young bands because they've got that many diverse things in the, in the music now, much more creativity. your name as a group. A group so the name origi originally came <clears throat> from our original singer, uh, Scoffer. He came up with the name, didn't he? He said, and, and it's an old English football chant. So it's, you want some fucking hospital food? Meaning you're gonna eat him and put him in Meaning, the hospital. you know, yeah. do you wanna be beaten up? <laughs> and he, he just suggested it to us one day, and we just went, yeah, that's cool. He liked it, and we've just stuck with it ever since. Yeah. Do you? Love or hate the stage? I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, what should never miss on your stage? Mm. <laughs> should never miss. Um, I mean, to be fair, we play because we're a small band with no, nothing behind us. I mean, we're lucky to know Dario from Last to Die Crew, who brings us over to Italy. But and so Italian, they arrange it for us, mm. and we've done it once a year for the last six years, apart from the rest of COVID at home. We do everything ourselves. Everything is done by us. If we don't have anybody helping us, so if anything's missed, it's because we've missed it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of gigs we can't get because we don't have anybody to get them gigs for us. So we do tend to do a lot smaller pubs and not big pubs, not big festivals. It's small pubs, small bars. Which is the place that you play that you have much more emotion from. Places that we get emotion from. For, for me uh, it's, it's, Blackpool. It's, for me, it's when there's people, whether it's a lot of people or just a few people, but they're really, really yeah. enjoying themselves. Yeah. That's where I get emotion from. When you <clears> see that what you're playing, what you your your art, your whatever your songs, what you're playing as a band, when people are really enjoying it. Especially that's, when they can get close to you as yeah, well yeah. and we can interact with them. Because that's what it's about. It's not about being on a big high stage miles away. It's about being on a close stage next to the people, next to the audience. And then after the gig, it's going into the audience and speaking with the audience. Yeah. We always say that 
you can have a busy gig with hundreds of people there that aren't enjoying it and that is not as good and not as much fun as a smaller gig with 10 people there who are all loving it. Yeah. Uh, but we'd rather play big gigs. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd Corner, what do you bring on stage? Uh, I play guitar, uh, I sing, we have to leave both of us, we both, we both sing. I play guitar, uh, it's just loud, chugging guitar, I like guitars loud, and sing. Me, I play the drums, I just enjoy the excitement of fast and loud. Yeah, I play the bass. Uh, my bass tone, I like it very trebly, lots of top end to cut through the mix, cut through his guitar <laughs> so that I can be heard. Yes. And yeah, I turn the bass down just enough to give you that nice rumble, but I like lots of top end, lots of clankiness and a really nice punk rock sound. And he sings as well. And I sing, yeah. Yes. We share vocals. What's the lyrics of your song are about? Uh, the lyrics they are about things that happen throughout our life. Mm. Uh, whether it's something silly like a bus journey, <laughs> uh, whether it's going out drinking, what happens then, whether it's yeah. going on holidays and things what you do when you're younger. Yeah. It's just it's just life in general. It's it's things that happen to I'm gonna think everywhere, if people listen to our lyrics, they're going to get a start of it. Yeah, very related. The start of yes. they will know because I suppose we're, we're normal people like everybody else. Yeah. yeah. And they people should relate to it because it will have happened to them. Lockdown, during this mm. difficult period for all the world, did you have the energy to keep writing music, to keep yes. doing yeah, stuff? Yeah, we did a new album, didn't we? Yeah, yes. we, we, uh, we wrote a new <coughs> album, plus I also did a side project, because in England you could get together in a studio with people who lived in your house. So I wrote my son and I did an album with my son. Uh, and then obviously as soon as we could get going, uh, yeah. we wrote a new album as well, so... It, we, had, we had a lot of ideas, because we were in lockdown, we were all chomping at the bit because we had lots of ideas between the three of us, and we just couldn't wait to get out there and throw these ideas. And next thing we know, very quickly, we had a 13-track album called Suck On That. Absolutely brilliant. And Rob, Rob joined the band just, <laughs> just, just, just as Covid. Yeah. started so we did like three four gigs yeah. and then everything got cancelled for two years albums have you got? We've got four studio albums so far. We are right now, fifth now. We've got an EP and we've also got an album of covers because um, we're playing a cover band uh, with people. We have them with us at all, at all gigs. Mm -hmm. And where and when did you start this group? The group started in about 2008, 2009, yeah. Yeah. wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, long time ago. I was 18 and I'm 34 now. <laughs> I dare say how old Nathan isn't, well, was and is now. <laughs> and Rob, well, Rob would have been in his 80s then, probably. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 21. I was playing in bands for a lot of years, you yes. know, before he joined Hospital Food. I'm 21. <laughs> so, all my adult life, since I was 18, I've always been in hospital food. Social, do you like it or do you hate the social network? There's it good, can be good. <laughs> there's good points yes. to it and there's really, really bad points. Yeah. Uh, if you get sucked into the bad points, it's dangerous. It's yes. very dangerous and people need to start. People need to hit that delete button with people. 
not get involved in, in, in awful stuff. Get rid of it, we don't want it. it mm. We should use it for good stuff, for yeah. pushing our music, for helping other bands, for finding other bands. Yeah. You, you know, for, for making friends as friends. It's a tool, this social media, it's a tool. Mm. And like with any tool, it depends how you use it. You can use a hammer to kill somebody, or you can use it to put nice pictures on the wall. Yeah. It's a tool and it all depends how you use it as to whether it's a good or a bad thing. We like to use it as a good tool, put our music out there so people can see it, watch it, look at our videos, look, look at where we're next playing. So we use it in a positive way. We don't get involved in a lot of this chat that you get on there, we get rid of it. You are quite old in the sheen, in the music sheen as mm -hmm. a group. We mean it all. Which is your suggest for the new group that arrive on the sheen? Your advice? My, my advice would be I've got an easy do, 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 do what you want to do. Don't yes. give in to anybody. Yeah. Play the music you want to play, write the songs that you want to play. Get out there and gig as much as you possibly can. Play anywhere you can, you can. You know, get out there and enjoy yourself. It'll build you. It'll build you. It'll make you a, a better musician. It'll mean as a band you play better together, and over time you will improve and you will you'll, you'll just become a great band. Really tight, lots of energy, and just enjoy the ride. I agree with what Ben says, but make sure you do it for the one right reason, and that is to enjoy playing music. If you're not enjoying it, there's no point doing it. We enjoyed playing music for years. This is why we're sat here now doing it today, because we enjoy doing it. I think my advice would be, if you're doing it to thinking you're going to make loads of money, <laughs> yeah. you, you're chances are you're not. There's no. very, very few people make money mm. playing in bands. Very, very few. Because when you take your costs out of it, and what you do for the hours you put in, you've mm. got to enjoy it. Yeah. Love it, enjoy it, do it. I, that, I said definitely do it. Definitely Even if you're not it. very good, get out and do it. It doesn't yeah. matter. Enjoy it. Yeah. Get up and do it. Do you have any plan for the future? Yes. Any... Yeah, keep going. <laughs> we are, yes, we are. We have about 13 songs that we're working on at the minute for a new album. Uh, it's very, very close with all the songs. We're, we're, tonight we'll be playing a couple of the songs that we're going to be using for the album. It's about getting them just right so we're ready to record, but I don't think it'll be long before we're back in the studio with a new album. Do you want to leave your social network links that, that way people can, can get in touch with you? Yeah, yeah we can do, we can yes. leave the band page, can't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah we're, Few, that Facebook. Well, you, find, you can find us on Facebook, yeah. on the Hospital Food. Uh, yeah. We have a, a YouTube channel. Hospital Food UK. Yeah, Hospital Food yeah. UK. We have a YouTube channel which is the fugitives hospital food. hospital food and the fugitives yeah, yeah. so that's uh, that's hospital food this band and our covers band you can if, find live videos on there that we've recorded if people just want to listen to his music as a walk in they can find us on spotify on yeah, any youtube premium like that. so you basically if you look for us we're very easy to find yeah look for the logo of the puking green man <laughs> three musical project or artist that you have to know Clash's oh. first album ah. for everybody. Anything by Stiff Little Fingers and anything by Nile Rogers. Okay. Me, anything by Rush, Genesis and Pink Floyd, which is totally against or away from what you see in the punk scene, but that's where I get my influences from. <laughs> Me, metal, System of a Down, punk. I absolutely love uh, Rancid for the American punk and I say my favourite British punk band of all time I've got to say would be the Vibrators. Thank you so much. Thank bye you. bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm
Yeah. 